Getting a red card after 38 seconds on the pitch isn't the best start to a game. But as crazy as it sounds, Steven Gerrard's red card from 2015 isn't even remotely close to being the fastest red card ever in football. What about Kevin Pressman getting himself sent off after 14 seconds for using his hands outside the box then? Nope, that's not on the top 10 list either. So yeah, you've guessed it, today we're looking at the fastest red cards ever seen in football. First up is Preston Edwards from Epps Fleet United, who saw red just 10 seconds after the first whistle blew. And the craziest thing is that his team actually had the kickoff. Basically, the defender number 3 had an absolute nightmare and failed both his clearance and the pass back to Pressman, who then had to pull out the emergency break and take down the striker, meaning that Epps Fleet's number 11, so an outfield player, had to go and goal for basically a full match. Oh, and uh, Giuseppe Lorenzo from Bologna also managed to get himself sent off in 1990 after 10 seconds as well. But in 2014, Ruben Satkovic managed to um, beat that unfortunate record by getting his marching orders after just 9 seconds of playing time after being subbed on. 9 seconds. And it wasn't even a red card he took to save an open goal or anything like that, but just a stupid studs up tackle. Silly. And uh, you can say the same about Kyle Wilka from Treze, who got sent off here in 2021 for this... Uh, can we call that a tackle or a wrestling move? I mean, sometimes these things happen where players stretch for the ball in the air and hit the defender, but that was just an absolutely mad two-footed tackle a meter off the ground. That's a red card if I ever saw one. And sometimes things just seem to go down in Brazil. In the Belo Horizonte derby in 2009, Cruzeiro player Sicalas decided to swing his elbow into an opposition player's face. That's stupid in itself, but it's extra stupid when you do it 7 seconds into the match. And I know things get heated in a derby, but your team needs you, man. Come on. Now also in 2009, Tomo Sugawara from Tokyo Verdi completely and utterly messed up at kickoff. For some reason, he was rooted to the spot and looked completely taken by surprise. Ultimately, poor Tomo had to pull the now infamous emergency break and take an early bath after 4 seconds of the match. But hey, it wasn't as bad as David Pratt from Chippenham Town who also got himself sent off in record time in 2009. Three seconds is all he got on the pitch after what was deemed a dangerous lunge on his opponent. And it took Matty McClure the exact same three seconds to get sent off for Wycombe Wanderers in 2015 after he was brought on as a sub in the 67th minute. He came on, planted his elbow in his opponent's face and earned himself one of the quickest sending offs ever. Now, getting sent off after 3 seconds sucks, but at least Sash Giahua from Greek outfit Glyfada took it with a smile. I mean, it's definitely a pretty unlucky red card to get, especially when you only come in joint third place for your troubles. Legend has it though, that he's still smiling to this day. <laughs> what a man. Now, Jehua is beaten to the uh, questionable honor of coming in second by Lee Todd from Cross Farm Park Celtic, who I have never ever heard about either. But the story goes that he was stood next to the referee who blew his whistle so loud that Todd said, F me, that was loud, to the ref, who then sent him off for swearing. True story. But even a man like Lee Todd can't beat Keith Gillespie in 2007, who got sent off after. Wait, the game had never started, so actually zero seconds. Now Gillespie was sopped on during a throw-in and had managed to get himself sent off before the play resumed for hitting his opponent Hunt in the face. Actually, he hit him twice in the face. <laughs> That's probably the most idiotic thing I've ever seen on the pitch. Stop it. Get some help. The funniest thing though, Walter Boyd from Swansea had done the same thing in 2000. Zero seconds. You might as well stay at home. So guys, for obvious reasons, don't be like Keith Gillespie because hitting people is definitely not cool. 
So those were the fastest red cards that we know of, at least in football. But did we miss any? And which curious football facts should we look into next? Let us know down below and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on before you maybe hit the playlist to watch even more cool football videos. With that said, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.